we have already had in the static or not we have to give us some rest and you know it's a great pleasure to be talking to you all of you and it's just a coincidence that i happen to be in delhi today uh well right here is the best thing to have happened for aspiring uh writers and authors um the simple reason that we are um, today at an age where suddenly writing is an extremely fashionable profession everybody wants to be a writer there is a huge surfeit of uh, people wanting to get published probably more people want to be writers now than engineers which is a complete reversal of trend uh, the trend that used to exist 20 years ago and in this situation obviously to get published by um, a leading publisher a credible publisher is that much more difficult so for an aspiring writer to um, to, be, to be gauged to be uh, evaluated and told um, you know his, his or her pluses and minuses in the way that write india does i think is a phenomenal platform and uh, hats off to uh, vinita for conceiving this and for the sheer perseverance and persistence with which she's been nurturing it for the last seven months now for me, I think it um, it uh, was something new to be a mentor. I think I've done a good job of it in the last one month, and I hope uh, to announce and I, I hope uh, to announce the winner maybe mid Feb once. Yeah. So. Yeah. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. Does anybody have a question for Tuhin? Probably, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, there are so many of them. Yeah, one second. It's quite warm and unlike Delhi. Yes. Yeah. Tuhin, I submitted for your contest a few days ago. Great, what's your name? My name is Kachan. Yeah. Uh, I want to ask, why is infidelity selling so much? <laughs> 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 and we go to Mantic Office coming up now. Yeah, get, get rid of <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, in the Times Lit Fest, there was something which I said which made the headlines in the, in the on the Times website. Uh, I think the best writing is when you make the most implausible of things seem believable. And I think uh, in an age where consumerism has completely taken over, the sheer element of fantasy which seems to be lacking, or you know, I mean, true love which seems to be lacking in today's life i think you all we are all suckers for romance we are all suckers for utopia and obviously um, most of the love stories uh, come out better where you have a conflict between not two but three characters so that's why infinity sells interesting answer yeah we have one more from Niti. And also submitted a story uh, yeah, I, the last day. I remember your name. Yeah. So actually, uh, what was what I found what was interesting was that since you had written the word that it should be unpredictable and passionate. Mm -hmm. So in fact, my daughter is six, uh, in sixth class, and she reads all my stories. This particular one I didn't let her read. <laughs> so I was like, wait, you have to wait for some time. So there are some twists and turns that you won't understand. So she was giving me those looks. But it was a challenge. I just want to say it was a very interesting mm -hmm. challenge to write your story. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good. Uh, yeah, I think the lady question. here yeah. has a question. Uh, I don't have to check the website, but is it tonight or tomorrow night? Uh, tonight. Tonight. Fine. Three hours. It was actually 30th December, but uh, I think you've got a special, uh, you've got another mail ID where you can send it across, which is cross with right in your crossword at gmail.com. Well, I mean, I honestly didn't check. Well, I'm supposed to, I didn't know to this deadline, so I'm thinking, like, I haven't even read about it. So I was thinking, you just, you have to do it. But as you have offline, it was also right through, that is the, oh. Yeah, okay. Hi. What's your name? Dhananjay. Hi. What made you start writing? I mean, what is the situation like? Where do you get, get inspiration to start writing? Well, you know, I mean, I belong to a generation. I'm 38 now. 
going to 39, but people didn't, didn't grow up wanting to become authors. So the people who couldn't excel in other fields ended up becoming writers. So, because we had lots of failed experiences to share. But jokes apart, I think today we are, uh, I mean, I come across a lot of uh, informed, sensitive um, youngsters who want to take up writing as a profession, as a vocation. And once you marry your vocation to your profession successfully with a good uh, economic planning in it, that explains why so many people want to become writers, why the writing that is thriving. And anybody, anything could inspire you. It could be an incident which you see happening around you. It could be um, mythology. It could be crime. It really depends on, upon your sensibilities. It could be a failed relationship. Yeah. Thank you. Hi. Hi to me. I'm Tishampati Sen. Hi. I just had one question. I mean, you won one of the... Yes, he's won twice. Twice. Yeah. Oh, wow. Twice over, you know. Please stand up and... Yeah. Uh, I just wanted to check because of your answer when you talked about infidelity and you said that that's uh, one of the interesting topics because that helps to bring out romance and three people. Uh, just the thought that struck me is that if someone writes a very good infidelity story, you know, because that's the thought that you had when you put that passage in, mm -hmm. or if someone writes a story which is not an infidelity at all, which one do you appreciate more? Because you had an idea in mind when you gave that passage. So, well written infidelity story versus a story that not really takes it. Para kind of set up the infidelity part. So, unless you, you know, have a story of, uh, uh, you know, those people kind of morally correcting themselves in the no, story. So, it could be <laughs> so I think the para set it up, but yes, I mean that's what would make it predictable if you have them, if you have one of um, the two girls turning into a sister, it's probably that would make it unpredictable. Good evening, sir. Hi. My name is Maliha. Hi, Maliha. Uh, my question is that uh, we generally come across like two kind of writers, or I. Mm -hmm. Uh, broadly uh, distributed like one we have the people who tend to put their thoughts emotions and experience on paper uh, with a flow in a in the way they don't want to tell the story and the other one we have that uh, they are quite sensitive aware and they know the technicalities and they, what they want to write and how they want to present so basically uh, in what category would you put yourself and what would be the best way to strike a balance between uh, these two broad I think most of the authors are, uh, today most of the successful authors are those who are trying to strike a balance but it's more important to be impulsive rather than get into the technicality simply because um, it's more important to know how to break the rules, it's important to know the rules but I think it's more important to know how to break the rules, that's what takes you far in life. So I would rather uh, advise you to be impulsive. It's good to know the technicalities, but it's also good to know how, where and how to break them. Um, I think whether it's writing or anything else, that's what really takes you far. One more thing, you mentioned that uh, your book, that thing called Love is the first book I've written in Indian author, and I've loved it. So thank you, thank you. Not at the stage that I'm writing it, but obviously once you finish writing and once um, the book, um, once you get the first copy of your book, I think at that point of time that's all you should be thinking of how to market it. But I think if you just think of it at the stage of writing itself, then um, I think your writing should be more about your conviction and your marketing should equally be about your conviction rather than your creative part. It's a little complicated, but I would suggest you, when, you, when you're writing your story, just think about what you, the stories you believe in, what comes naturally to you, rather than thinking what might sell. Because by the time you bring out your book, what sells today may not be selling two years later. So. Great. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot for each of us. My pleasure. My Times of India for this wonderful platform that you provided to writers, and I'm sure uh, in the next few months you would have, we would have about 11 new authors and 11 new um, people who would be bringing out many more books in the future. Thank you.
it's time uh, we close the session. But before that, let me thank uh, Vinita for this wonderful, wonderful session. I'm sure all of you will agree that it was quite an engrossing uh, talk that she gave us. A lot of insights, not just about writing, but about writing and the way you should approach your writing. Uh, and you know the styles and uh, the numbers are quite hilarious actually in the experience. So we really, really hope that Write India takes this initiative forward. And we all of us, you know, even at Readomania, as authors, as readers, as a dream reader and writer, I would love this initiative to grow bigger and bigger because that's how we will increase our community of readers and writers, the literature community so far. That's what we call them. In fact, actually, if you think about it, reading and literature brings and makes you introspect. And probably that's one way we can make or change perspectives. And a very simple way, perspective changing essentially leads to changing your way of life. Something like an audible in Delhi, you know. So maybe we all read more, write more, and eventually make this world a better place to live it and that's the message we at Edomania and I'm sure at IT India is what has been given out. Before we end, as a token of respect, may I request Shatapa to hand over a small gift to uh, Vinta. Thank you very much for coming and sharing your thoughts with us. Now, the, another interesting part, before we end with the AV for Right India, we have Vinita's books available for sale outside and she is available for signing them. So if you want to pick up the book and get it signed by her, please go out, pick up the book from Book Counter and you can get them signed. There are other books as well from Rito Mesa, which you may want to look at and probably buy as well and help us. Thank you, have a lovely evening. May we now have the audio visual for Right India before we close. Why do you write? Because writing makes you take two words, spread them out like wings. And you fly away into wealth. You never knew existed. But you created them with your words. You write when you're inspired. You write when you're not. You spend hours, days, weeks, trying to find just the right words. Searching for the right turn of phrase until it all comes together and speaks to you. You write to be the character that you're not. So you can live the life that you've dreamt of. You write to explore all the things you were afraid of. You write because some days that's the only way you can stay sane. That's the only thing that keeps you going. Keeps you wanting. Keeps you striving. You write because you want it enough to go out and fight for it. To work day and night for it. To give up your sleep, time and peace for it. You write because there are stories only you can tell. And those stories need to be told. And now it's time for you to write. To step into the light. Stand with us and share a writing platform unlike any other. Presenting Write India, an initiative by the Times of India. 11 writers. 11 stories. 11 winners. Take a step closer to finding your voice, your words, your muse. Write, because this opportunity of a lifetime can do you no good till you take advantage of the lifetime of this opportunity. A Times of India initiative. A lifetime opportunity for writers across India to find their words and tell their stories under the expert tutelage of India's preeminent authors. This could be your chance to get a book published in your name. Read the monthly prefaces by 11 writers on www.toi.in slash write India and take the story forward in your own voice. Thank you very much. Truly inspirational. For all those who have not registered, maybe request you to leave your email ID and password so that we can contact you for the next session that's happening on March 2nd. We'll get back to you with further details soon. Thank you and have a lovely evening.